Hey, this is Bobby Hunt 3, www.bluelightdiet.com. And in this short video, I'm going to show you two huge issues you're probably not paying attention to that if you change them, you will see major improvements to your health and your sleep. Okay, so the first is the Lux. Lux is basically a measure of light intensity in your area, okay? So if you are living indoors, your light is very underpowered. That means your circadian rhythm isn't working as it should and your body is not being charged every day. So this is a Lux meter. Now I am inside by a window right now. So if we look at that, uh, the Lux meter right now reads about 700 lux, um, 800, 900, 1,000 lux. Okay, now the closer you go to the interior of the room, the lower lux you get. Now, your body was built over millions of years to operate under a strong lux every day. And let me tell you something, indoor lux isn't strong enough to keep you charged and can, to keep your circadian rhythm operating as it should. So watch what happens when we open this door. Remember about a thousand inside by the window. So when we open this door and look, look at that Lux meter, but it's 200, right? But times a hundred. See that X 100? That means it's times 100. So whatever that comes out to, I'm not a math person, but that is huge. And that is what your biology is built to function on every single day. Inside, you are getting a very small fraction of that. You are undercharged. Your circadian rhythm is not operating as it should be. So one good health tip is to get outside as much as you can every single day. That's gonna keep your circadian rhythm running as it should and improve your sleep big time. The next thing I get a lot of smart ass answers for is people say, well, I don't turn on lights while I'm inside, so I'm not blue light toxic. Well, this is a spect spectrometer. It gives you the nutrient profile of the light um, that you are getting right now. So. If we look at the nutrient profile of the light outside, it's kind of cloudy today, but we'll do it anyway. And if I take it, that's what it looks like, okay? Look at, um, pay attention to the red and the blue. They almost equal each other and there's way more, um, uh, if that red would keep going, you'd see lots of infrared. And if that blue would keep going, you'd also see UV light. Okay, now let's remember this. Now let me close the window here. Now let's see what happens when with light coming through the window. Boom. Look at what happens. Do you see how that red light drastically goes down. So you are becoming blue light toxic even if you sit next to a window because the window increases the amount of blue light and decreases the amount of red and infrared. And also if the spectrometer would have uh, most of the UV in there, you'd see a decrease in UV as well. So even if you are inside, and you don't use any lights or computer screens, you are still blue light toxic, most likely because your windows filter out um, the red, infrared, and UV wavelengths of light and give you way more blue and green light. So, how can you fix this? Well, following the blue light diet, of course. If you want to see if you are blue light toxic, which I bet you are, you can go to bluelightdiet.com forward slash blue light toxicity test. 
I know it's a it's a long one. I'll have to fix that one day. But it's bluelightdiet.com forward slash blue light toxicity, T-O-X-I-C-I-T-Y, test.